Deeper learning is my ability to look at myself. Some would say that can be a painful experience. Uh, it's about the confidence and the courage to say, if I want to learn, it's not going to be about content. It's not going to be about a solid body of unchanging knowledge that I can regurgitate. It's about how I can use my brain, how I can use my emotions, how critically I can use my ability to form relationship, to work with others, to help me to come to conclusions that I couldn't otherwise understand. Uh, it's interdisciplinary in nature. Uh, whether it's a mountaineer halfway up Everest um, who is talking um, on text to a group of students in a school about the weather conditions and whether avalanche is at risk, whether it's a story about our primary children in early years practicing floating and sinking and being asked, why does that sink and why does that float? It is collaborative in nature. Our heritage dharma is about inclusivity, but it's also about accountability. And a key for us is ownership. And it's ownership of our targets, it's ownership of our questions, and it is also ownership of our assessment. Because great learning, which drills down, means that the owner of that learning says, this is my target. And if this is my target, this is how I am going to achieve it. When deep learning occurs, no one has to ask a question whether or not it's happening. Our aspiration has to be, every time we go into a classroom, is to say, can we see it? Can we hear it? Is it evident?